Now let's take a look at your power on stall. You still need to consider CAS, clear returns, your altitude consideration, and over a safe area. So your clear returns, your altitude, and your over a safe area. Okay? And the altitude for your air work for the stall, steep turns, and slow flight, you're again to complete the maneuver no lower than 1,500 AGL. So at least start this maneuver at 3,000, if not 3,500. So once you've cleared the area, you're at the appropriate altitude, and um, you're over a safe area, we're ready to set the maneuver up. Now the power on stall is to simulate that on departure you pitched up too much for one reason or another. So you went down the runway and then when you rotated for whatever reason the plane pitched up too much. And this may have been because your load shifted in the airplane or maybe your seat track wasn't in the, the peg wasn't in the hole properly and the seat slid backwards or maybe you just didn't have the plane trimmed properly and so it over pitched on your takeoff. So the power on stall, you would have had full power and they also refer to it as a departure stall. Now how we need to set this maneuver up is once we've done our clearing turns and our altitude and our safe area, we need to slow the plane down to simulate like we just left the runway. So if your normal rotate and takeoff speed is around 60, 65, we need to slow the plane down first. So typically you'd pull the carburetor heat on, pull your power back to maybe 15 or 1700 RPMs and trim the plane a little bit while it's slowing down. Once you slow the plane down to your departure speed, say 60, 65, then you're going to simultaneously add full power with right rudder because remember in a single engine airplane when you add that power it automatically will start yawing to the left because of your P factor, how the descending blade on the right side bites harder in the air. So as you add that full power you need to add some right rudder with it and also push the carburetor heat back in. Now you're to continue to pitch the airplane up. We don't want to pull it up all at once and stand the plane on its tail. We just want to pitch up to a certain picture that would not sustain flight for very long. So as you pitch up, you're going to have to depress more and more and more right rudder to keep the tail right behind the nose. And again, once you hear the stall warning go off or you feel the airplane shudder a little bit, when the wind is starting to separate from the wings, you should uh, verbalize imminent stall to let the examiner know you recognize this on stalling condition. Now we already have full power in there, and so all we need to do to recover is just simply push the nose back to level on the horizon and let the, the wind reattach to the wind and let the airplane reaccelerate, and then we could continue to climb with a normal pitch attitude. All right, so once again, the setup for the power on stall is we've done our clearing turns, our altitude is proper, and we're over a safe area. We need to pull the carburetor heat on, pull the power back to maybe around 1500 RPMs, retrim the airplane to force it to slow down. Now once you're at your departure speed, like your rotating departure speed, you add full power back in there. I'll show you what it looks like from your perception. Uh, you add full power, but you better add some right rudder because otherwise the plane is going to go off to the left. So as you add full power and you pitch up, and go ahead and push the carburetor heat in also, if you hear the stall warning or the airplane buffets used to imminent, uh, verbalize imminent stall, continue to hold back until it full stalls. It full stalls when you're pulling back, but the nose drops anyway. At the point the nose drops, you simultaneously, or at the same time, push the nose back to a level picture on the horizon. Don't dive down at the ground, we only need level. This is stall, this is recover. This is stall, this is recover. We don't need to go all the way down to a nose, pitch atti uh, a nose down attitude. So to recover from the power on stall, you merely push the nose back to level at the same time it wanted to drop anyways and allow the plane to reaccelerate and then continue with a normal climb to safety.